Hello YouTube, this is DrawingKid1313, and welcome to another one of my C++ programs that I just finished coding, uh, literally just a few minutes ago, and I was so excited about this one because I've been working on it for quite some time now. Uh, I've probably spent a good uh, five or six hours on this thing, um, actually probably even more. I obviously don't keep track because that's higher than I can count. Um, but anyways, what this program allows you to do, obviously, it generates a random password, but it's more than just that. It allows you to specify the number of characters that you want it to include. It allows you to choose whether or not you want capital letters, whether or not you want lowercase letters, whether or not you want uh, numbers, and whether or not you want special characters. So you could really uh, control what kind of password you need. Uh, and this is useful for like the different types of websites that they have. Some are just weird like that and don't allow uh, special characters. Um, so, yeah, uh, very useful. Um, so, another thing that you should note that this thing does, uh, which took me a long time to figure out, uh, right here it says if a uh, letter, which is the randomly generated character, um, is not equal to um, the last character that was generated, go ahead and add that to the password. If it is if it is equal, being that this is not satisfied, um, basically it just continues on with the code and it doesn't add that to the password, making this uh, thing run longer to make sure that it has the right amount of characters that you chose. Um, so basically, what this does, uh, in short, is it makes it so where no two characters can appear uh, twice in a row in your um, password. Uh, meaning that it's more random, more secure, and uh, all around more awesome. So, let me go ahead and stop rambling here, and I'll go ahead and run it for you guys. Uh, let's see. First off, it says, Welcome to the Password Generator, as you can see right here. And then it asks you, Please enter how many characters you want to include. Uh, let's say I wanted a 15-character password. Simple enough. Include capital letters? Let's choose yes. Include lowercase letters? Let's go ahead and choose yes. Also note that uh, it says Y or N, basically you type in Y or N, as soon as you press the key it or, it'll uh, enter in that thing for you. So as you can see it also outputs what you chose re recently. So right now it's saying that I chose yes for both of those. Chose yes for numbers, do you want to include special characters? Yes I do. So this is pretty much as random as you can get, um, being yes to all of them. Uh, your password is, and then it outputs your password. Again, also notice that there are no two characters that are the same in a row. Uh, also kind of note that I slightly failed in my program. For some reason, this doesn't always work. You will occasionally get characters that are just right next to each other, but the most that I've had this happen is just one pair of characters. So, not too common that it happens, but just in case it does, I added this little thing underneath it. It says, press R to randomize your current, current password. Basically what this does is it keeps all the values that are stored in here and it just jumbles them all around. And you can continue to do this until you get one that satisfies your need. As you can see it's different every time. Also you'll notice that it says press N to start over. So if I press N here, it brings me back to the first thing that you guys saw. And I could repeat the process again. Let's say we wanted a 10 character password. Um, we, don't want in, uh, we don't want to include capital letters. We do want to include lowercase, we do want to include numbers, but we don't want to include special characters. What this will do is it will generate a 10 character password, only including lowercase letters and numbers. So, pretty awesome. And then again, we could randomize it. Also note that when you randomize it, uh, you may occasionally get ones that, are, uh, that show up next to each other because it doesn't quite work as I have it. Um, basically, it compares each value as it's adding it. So this one already has it added, so there's no way for it to compare each value. Well, there is, but I haven't coded it. I mean, I could if I really wanted to, but I just really wanted to show you guys what I have so far. Um, just to kind of prove to you that I coded out each and every uh, individual possible uh, combination of characters that you can include in this, um, I will go ahead and just run through it one more time. Let's say we want a 15-character password. We do want capitals, we don't want lowercase, we do want numbers, and we do want special characters, sure. 
As you can see, what this will do is it'll output only capitals, special characters, and numbers in the uh, password, and it won't include the lowercase letters. So pretty awesome, um, if I may say so myself. Uh, the idea from this uh, did not came from where my last program came, being my computer programming class. This was not an assignment. This was actually just for fun and uh, the pure enjoyment of being able to accomplish uh, such a task, especially for me, only programming for a year, less than a year. Um, and I, again, pretty much teaching myself everything. Um, but bes that's besides the fact. Um, my dad actually mentioned it a little bit ago, saying, hey, that would be cool if you could like generate this random password because my dad is a person that likes to use random passwords very secure that so that no one can possibly hack into his account. It's pretty much impossible. So he's like, you know, that would be cool because I saw like a whole bunch of services online where you actually have to pay for this stuff. Yeah, you have to pay for them to generate a random password. The only difference is, of course, it does kind of manage your passwords for you and keeps it stored. But I could easily do that if I really wanted to. I could just have it output it to a text document and allow you to title said password. Um, but yeah, that could be something that I do in the future, and I may show you guys that later on. But for now, this is good for me. Um, like I said, I've spent probably six or seven hours. I don't even know how many. Um, but yeah, and then of course you press zero to exit. Um, so as you can see, there are a lot of uses for this program. Not only for pure entertainment, but you know, for actually useful purposes, such as generating a uh, password for your account. I may just use this for my uh, new Twitter account. Hint, hint, nudge, nudge. Um, I do... I uh, have a Twitter account now, I just created it uh, a day or two ago. Uh, so if you want to follow me on there, you can go ahead. Um, I don't really post much because I'm socially awkward, but, you know, and if you want to see my random thoughts throughout the day of my school life, uh, it's something that you could follow, possibly. Or I may just en uh, end up tweeting every time I upload a new video or some something like that. So, just something for you guys to do. Um, also, if you, just like with my uh, previous program, if you really want to see um, a more in-depth explanation of how I coded this program and how I went about using all the different things that I have, as you can see, there are 961 lines of code, um, each one being each individual possible um, result that you can have from the possible combinations of yeses and nos. I believe it's like 16 or somewhere around there. Um, but yeah, if you want a more in-depth explanation, go ahead and leave a comment in the comment section saying, hey, I'd like to see how you do this, and I may just upload a tutorial video for you guys. Um, another thing, if you want to use this program for yourself, go ahead and leave a comment in the comment section saying, hey, I'd like to try this out for myself, it seems pretty cool. And I'll uh, go ahead and put the executable as well as the source code uh, being all this stuff right here into a text document, put that all bundled up into a zip file and upload it to Mediafire or wherever I decide to do that. And then you can go ahead and download it for yourselves. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. This has been Drawing Kid 1313 on my random password generator program uh, for uh, C++. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you join me next time. See ya!